Hi, Valder. Hi, Paul Elio. How are you? I am doing pretty well. How about yourself? I'm having a fabulous life. I want to thank you for joining us live here in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Well, thanks for having me. You're the founder of Elio Motors and a creator of the new auto, the Elio. Tell me about that. Well, its claim to fame is it gets 84 miles per gallon. It's engineered to the highest safety ratings. And its sticker price is for $6,800, uh, assembled in Shreveport, Louisiana, with 90% North American content. Well, I'm a Louisiana girl. I'm from New Orleans. I can't believe that it's $6,800. Yes. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, hard to explain exactly how we got there. Part of it, you know, it only weighs 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds of stuff costs less than 2,400 pounds of stuff. Part of it's the business model. Um, we're going to do company-owned stores with Pep Boys uh, being our authorized service provider so we don't have to buy all those lifts and uh, computer diagnostics. You know, there's a lot of little pieces that come together to, to achieve a, a big impact. What inspired you to create the Elio? I'm sorry, what was that? What inspired you to create the Elio? Well, it was 2008, and if you remember, oil was going through the roof, and I'd watch the news every night and just get disgusted at all this wealth pouring out of our country. And at the time, I owned an engineering firm that did new product development and automotive. And one day, I decided instead of getting mad about it, I'd go do something about it. And uh, the end product of that is uh, the Elio. Talk is cheap. I, li I, I like that. <laughs> Let me ask you. We've got a crisis looming with Will again. We've got a war in a foreign country, or we've got unrest in a foreign country, let me say it that way, which is driving the price of oil up on the, on the uh, uh, stock market. Are you at a perfect storm time? Well, we're slated for start of production in September of 2015. So we're not ready to help yet, but we will soon. And, and we can drastically change the fuel usage of profile of America. After five years of sales, we can reduce total U.S. gas consumption by 0.35%. And that's a meaningful number, both from an environmental perspective and a, a foreign oil perspective. You say the car get 84 miles a gallon? Did I hear that correctly? That's correct, and that's with a, a gas engine, 87 octane. The secret to the gas mileage is we seat two occupants front to back rather than side by side. So at highway speeds, most of your fuel goes to moving air. We're half as wide, we move half as much air, we get double the mileage. Can we see any uh, prototypes of the Elio online? Yes, if you go to eliomotors.com, there's lots of video and pictures of, of the vehicle. Uh, you can also make a reservation. We're accepting them. Uh, we have 20, 21,000 reservations to date. Is it an environmentally friendly car? Yes. So if you drive an Elio 20,000 miles in a given year, you produce less greenhouse gas than one cow's flatulence over the same time period. So we're, we're cleaner than a cow. When, uh, I think you told me 2015, you start production, but when will it be available to the general market consumer? So that, that's the first saleable vehicle will be third quarter of 2015. All right then, and you want us to go online and find out more information? Tell me that again, where? Sure, eliomotors.com, E-L-I-O motors.com. Well, it must be pretty good to be Paul Elio these days. I mean, this is revolutionary and changing the industry. Do you feel like that? Well, you know, you just kind of go to work every day and do the next right thing. But yeah, what inspires me is the impact of the project. We can create thousands of new American jobs and radically change our fuel usage profile. And, and it really matters. Do you think you'll change the industry itself? And what I mean by that is uh, 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 Mr. Tesla, he said he's opening up his patents because he wants to change the industry. He wants people to come forth with uh, innovations because we are a capitalistic society. Do you kind of feel like that? Uh, I think we're almost adjacent to that. So I don't think we change new car sales much. This is a, a new widget, like a, an iPod or a Walkman. You know, we're creating a whole new category. Well, I think you're changing. It's a game changer personally, but I can't wait. Well, thank you. Well, I want to thank you so much, Paul for talking about this car. I can't wait. Please come back when you're actually uh, uh, in a next phase or a next step or something like that, because I love to give my, my listening audience cutting edge opportunity. Well, we will do that. Thank you. Thanks. Take care.